Hello everyone and welcome to WWE What Was Raw for September 12th, 2016. After the collective wrestling happiness hangover that was Backlash, how did Raw respond? Well, let's be quite frank and perfectly honest, Raw was a turd sandwich. Granted, an artisan turd sandwich made with the best bread, but at the core of it was still a turd. You had two parts at either end of the show that were really good, but the rest of the show was raw as slog. It was a tough three hours to get through. But let's get into the first good bit, and that was Mick Foley setting up the women's match for Clash of Champions. First, we had Sasha come out and say she wants the match. Then Bailey came out and said she wants the match. Then somehow Dana Br Dana Br Dana got involved in the match. Now, it was set up to be Sasha versus Bailey in a singles match to determine the number one contender, but then Data got added after she slapped the crap out of Charlotte, and this made a lot of sense because this gives someone to get, take the pinfall that isn't Bailey or Sasha. You save Bailey and Sasha one on one for a big pay per view, evidenced by the work they did in NXT and the reason people were excited when it was just them in the ring. But. The overarching problem with this is Dana took most of the beating during the match, but she didn't take the pinfall. Bailey took the pinfall, and Sasha's shoulders were down. You may not have seen referee, but all of the fans saw it. We know. We know what happened. We know what's up. But this does kind of set up a good kind of triangle, at least on the main roster. Bailey beat Charlotte. Charlotte beat Sasha. Now Sasha beat Bailey. Kind of, sort of. But I am excited to see Charlotte and Sasha, too. As long as Charlotte doesn't kill Sasha again. Please don't kill Sasha. We all like Sasha. Now, there isn't really much in the middle of the card that I want to talk about, save for one bit, and I just want to give it a little bit of a nod, and that is Nia Jax tried to kill Alicia Fox. Seriously, take a look at this. This is bloody terrifying. That is a grown woman. She's slinging around like that. Oh, boy. Good on Nia. Have her do more stuff like this. That being said, I want to move on to the main event, which scares me less, and that was Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Roman wins, he's into the championship match at Clash of Champions, and if you remember last week, I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea one bit. But before the match got started, Kevin Owens cut a great promo with Seth Rollins. I like this. Let's, you know, cement that Seth Rollins face turn. Let's make Kevin Owens our top heel, and we'll make Seth Rollins our top face, and we'll have them go at it. Good. Makes sense. I like it. Then we had the match with him and Reigns. For his part, I know the IWC, and myself included, give Reigns a hard time. Can't blame us, you were shoved so far down our throat, we're still gagging you back up. But if given time, Roman has been putting on some good matches. I wasn't a big fan of his match with Rusev, that everyone was crowing about with Raw a couple weeks ago. But this one, it was given about 20 minutes, they did some good work in it, and ultimately the right guy won twice. First, we had Seth Rollins come out and interfere. That was a DQ. Match got restarted after him and Mick Foley were going to have a serious business talk. Again, you know it's serious if Fit Finley's coming out to break stuff up. The match was restarted, and holy crap, out of nowhere, a wild Rusev appears. Distracted Reigns. Reigns get hit with the pop-up powerbomb. Kevin Owens wins. KO Mania runs wild. Everyone is happy. Dusty is happy. And then Rusev beat the crap out of Reigns to end the show. I like that. I really did. It was a good way to end the turd sandwich. And that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. If you like Raw, if you like this video, there's a button where you can hit where you can show your appreciation. That'd be awesome. Also, subscribe because I do this five times a week because I'm insane and I'm full of sugar. Also, if you don't like me, you didn't like Raw, and you don't like my face, there's a button where you can sort of those emotions with around here somewhere. Leave me a comment. Let me know what was your favorite part of the turd sandwich that was Raw. And until next time, that WWE What Was Raw.